Hey guys, how's it going? Kapran here. So uh, today uh, I thought I'd just have to talk about the Warsong Commander nerf. So uh, this is Warsong Commander. It's a pretty good card. It enables a bunch of charge warrior decks and namely the Grim Patron Warrior, as you guys know, has been the dominant deck for basically since Grim Patron came out. Uh, it was basically Math Warrior was a thing, and then Grim Patron came along, and then when Grim Patron came along, they fixed the old Warsong Commander, which actually did not give charge to summoned minions, only ones that were played from hand. So uh, they fixed Warsong, they introduced Patron, the whole world got in here, and uh, basically our meta in Constructed Hearthstone was completely revolved around the interaction between these cards and a bunch of whirlwind effects, and well, throw in a frothing berserker. So uh, recently, uh, Blizzard had announced that they want to change the way that Warsong Commander works to that. The new Warsong Commander, your charge minions have plus one attack, and man, that that seems like a pretty bad card, probably because it is a really bad card. Um, but uh, I want to talk about um, exactly what the card is, what this means, and what's really going on here. So was Grim Patron really that overpowered? Uh, I kind of went over this in a video that went over a lot of the statistics behind the deck, and I concluded that it is overpowered as Grim Patron Warrior was the only tournament deck that only had one bad matchup, which was Handlock. It was the only deck with one, only one matchup that was less than 40% chance to win. And it was like margin and less than 40% chance to win. So it was basically a deck that had almost no weakness. And even the weakness, it still wasn't even that bad. So it made it just a really safe pick in tournaments, even though it didn't have an overwhelmingly high win rate as actually, uh, Midrange Hunter did. Midrange Hunter was the best deck in that listing. Um, it still was just, you know, one of the safest decks that you can throw out there. And if you played it correctly, you'd always have a very good chance to win against any opponent against any deck. And because of that, I thought it was pretty OP. Uh, I actually really like seeing the deck uh, in tournament play. Um, a lot of people hate playing against it constantly on ladder which is understandable. Some of the interactions are really bad, which is understandable. A lot of the damage output is completely insane. That can be a little bit frustrating as well. But uh, all in all, I think it's just because the deck didn't have much of a weakness, making it a bit overpowered for a bit too long that Blizzard stepped in and nerfed it. Why did they nerf it right now? Um, well, BlizzCon is coming up, and uh, actually the, the pre-qualifier matches for uh, BlizzCon, I think, are in less than two weeks, or just around two weeks. So it seems like, uh, you know, they're going to put the game on the world stage, they're going to introduce the game at BlizzCon to people who haven't seen it before, and they don't want the face of the Grim Patron to be the ones that they see. They want to have um, a different game. They want to highlight this game. They also maybe want to spice it up a little bit right before BlizzCon. So they basically want to save BlizzCon from everyone getting in there. That's that's what's going on here. Um, you know, the change had to happen sometime, and they think this is the time to do it. Um, so, okay, I, I can't disagree with that timing. Um, I Again, as a caster, as a person who plays Constructed but not so seriously, I mostly just like to see what other people play. Um, I think the card's exist existence in the game is uh, is fine. It's pretty good. I think I think Warsong Commander uh, in its old state, uh, the whole Grim Patron deck was was a fine one. But uh, I can't disagree with them nerfing it at the same time. So you know that said, we can, we can move on and kind of talk about the repercussions of the nerf. So with Grim Patron out, there's going to be a lot more aggressive decks. Uh, people actually said they might even try Dreadsteed now because uh, it doesn't get so hard countered. There's just a few decks that just get completely obliterated every single time by Grim Patron. And uh, some of those are actually pretty cool. So it might actually be a pretty interesting meta for a little bit here. And maybe some creative stuff will actually pop out in BlizzCon. Um, the card not being in the game nerfs a lot of other decks as well, but uh, they're not really very good. There's a lot of just, uh, you know, kind of like Math Warrior-ish decks, uh, like the Grim Patron stuff. But there's also like Murloc Warrior. Uh, I actually played Murloc Warrior. It was not too bad of a deck. Um, there's also um, a few variations of Hobgoblin Warrior uh, that used Warsong Commander that was okay as well. Uh, because everything had one attack, 
and whenever you played it with Hobgoblin, it went three attacks, so it still got the old charge effect, so it was okay. And Warsong Commander was an okay, but not that great card in Arena as well. So that's that's the old stage. And now we have the new Warsong Commander. Your charge minions have plus one attack. Um, so Ben Brode made a video about the new version and the nerf and all this kind of process, and he, he talked about how I actually quote him. I think this is I think this is the dumbest thing that he said, but maybe maybe I'm just ignorant. I don't know. Um, he says new players just don't know how good that is, referring to the effect, referring to the new War Song Commander, it, which is like, like I, I don't know. I, I mean, I must I must not be very good at Hearthstone because I also think that effect is pretty damn terrible um and uh, I'll, I'll give you guys my perspective on this so um there's a card like Dar direwolf alpha um that basically does that for one mana less which is a considerable difference in hearthstone especially when it comes to charge combos so uh war song commander the the fix that that they've made here uh, it makes it so if you have charge minions already in play that haven't died from a previous turn they will get buffed by the one attack and you can play worse on commander and you can play more charge minions and those that all not get the plus one attack as well which is basically what dire wolf alpha does if you have two charge minions in play already from a previous turn i mean are you really going to have more than that probably not you can buff those two minions with the dire wolf alpha and then you can just play more charge minions in position in the new uh, side spots beside Direwolf Alpha. And you can maybe even play more charge minions because you have one extra mana to do so. Wow. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Direwolf Alpha uh, doesn't really see any play except from very select zoo decks. Um, and, I mean, would you really play a warrior with a bunch of charge minions? and include a minion that doesn't actually have charge itself just to buff them and even if you did would you actually pick this one over the direwolf i think the answer is no to every single one of those questions um so basically the card is a complete write-off um i don't understand how good this card is i just don't i think the card is absolute crap um, and, you know, they kind of went with a new direction on the card. They just don't want the charge mechanic being in the game. That's understandable. It, it does limit the design space and all that. I get it. But really, my point is that um, the new Warsong Commander is just a complete missed opportunity. Like, you know, Warriors is, is the only non-class in Arena. Like, Arena has, you know, a bunch of good classes... Uh, Honestly, I'd argue that all the classes aren't really separated by much of a tier anymore. They're all fine. And then there's Warrior, which is not really a class. So you have like eight classes in Arena. And then you have the Masochist class, where you just basically just get a garbage deck almost every single time. So um, Warrior needs a lot of help in Arena. And in Arena, the chance that you get a class common um, is really, really high. So having really good class commons is e extremely important. So there's that. So they could have made a good co class common instead of a bad dire wolf, especially for Arena, where you'd need more combo charge cards for it to e be even as good as dire wolf alpha at all. Um, and then for constructed, um, a lot of you guys don't understand this, but uh, you know I've played a lot of free accounts and played a lot of like just the very basic type of decks and warrior is also the only class that just doesn't work um warrior you need like a very combo themed deck or you need like you know control warrior basically um so you can't you just can't have a, a deck that's like arena like that's like mid-range warrior it just doesn't work it just absolutely gets smashed by every single deck out there so um a card like like warsong commander um, is just not going to help that. It's not going to help uh, new players uh, actually play Warrior. Um, and it, it could have if it was actually a good card. So let's talk about the card itself, and, and maybe maybe you guys can understand what I'm talking about here. So your charge minions have plus one attack, um, and this is a class card. So class cards have that extra little bit of room to be like a bit overpowered, um, and this is not even close to that. 
so how much is your charge minions have plus one attack? How much is that effect worth? Um, well, uh, in my opinion, it's basically worth nothing. Um, while you might play a charge warrior and do all that kind of stuff, if you do actually do that, a lot of the time you'll be playing this card um, with the charge minions, so its stats are not really relevant. And if you play it as a card, it better have really good stats to actually survive the board for the effect to be relevant. Otherwise, the effect, again, doesn't matter. So, um, 3 mana 2-3 is trashed here in terms of stats, and the effect is worth nothing. It's, um, it's kind of separated from the stats. The effect is separate from the stats. So, the stats really shouldn't be punished by any kind of effect when the effect is that. So basically what I'm saying is Warsong Commander should have been a 3 mana 3-4 three, with the same effect. I like the charge effect. I like that it's like kind of something. I like that it's charge themed. Um, and you know, if you actually played a bunch of charge minions, a 3 mana 3-4 three, might actually stay on the board. So you could actually play a charge minion or two on turn four to actually have some benefit out of the effect. And if you do, it's marginally better than Spider Tank, which is starting to be phased out even in the mech decks. Um, so, you know, it, it would be like totally perfectly balanced for constructed. It would make it so new players can actually play, maybe encourage to play some kind of mid-range warrior with a few charge minions, a few weapons, and maybe something will happen out of that. And in arena, warriors would actually have a decent class common card, which is, wow, you know, mind-blowing. It, it does seem like arena warriors are just not allowed to have those. But, um, yeah, seriously, like... 3 mana, 3, 4, your chairman's half plus 1 attack. It's just, it's just the easiest fix in my mind. Um, I, don't, I don't understand any of the reasoning why this card has to be so terrible. Like, I understand nerfing a card, but you're not nerfing a card just because the card in every way possible is, is overpowered. Um, I mean, you, they nerfed a card by completely altering its effect into one that has zero value but then they didn't actually look at the stats of the card at all. So um, seems like, you know, we haven't seen a nerf in a really long time in Hearthstone, but it seems like this is just like the worst one ever. So uh, hopefully uh, things are done a little bit better in the future, and uh, we'll have to see what that's like. But in general, I'm glad that they're looking at cards. I'm glad that things are being changed up a little bit, and I do think there should be more of that going on on a regular basis. For now, though, rip in peace, Grim Patron Warrior. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.